This is a drag saw that Larry Littlefield has restored for the Maine Forest and Logging Museum. Tell me about the restoration. Uh, what did you do to this saw? I took every uh, screw out of it and sandblasted all the metal parts and then primed them all and painted them. And I, I sanded all the wood and coated it with uh, linseed oil. It looks like there's some dogs that actually grip onto the uh, log on the... Um... Yeah, there's a set of dogs that hang onto the log. This is a helical spring tensioner that's pushing down on the saw into the wood. Another uh, spring-loaded uh, tensioner on the back uh, that guides the... Uh, blade and also pushes down on the blade. We can't see, see the spring, can, but it's can, kind of can, a clock spring. You can set the tension right here, see? It's got a dog right there that locks it down. You didn't need a gym back in the uh, days of cutting firewood. You needed rest at night, not exercise. If you use that all day. hours to completely take apart and sandblast all the parts and re repaint them and then to reassemble them it took longer to try to figure out how it went back together. <laughs> There's a sign here that says patented June 8th, uh, 02. We're assuming 1902. 1902. Yeah. Nora sharpened the blade for the saw and it's cutting really well. So it uh, folds up for storage uh, when you're done using it. Okay. Went all the way down somehow. Okay, gotta, gotta go over that way a little more. Yeah. That folds up. That folds right up. That leg folds up. For all those baby L ones. So it folds up uh, to a pretty compact package and weighs uh, 56 pounds. There's a leg. This saw can be rotated uh, onto the side to actually cut trees with. Look at the shaven block. Wow. Oh, wow, yeah.